Okay, welcome back to the shop. We're uh, going to do the first attempt on the uh, windshield canopy frame. I just click the stove up to a broil, and we will uh, let this sag and see if we can get a pull. On this, this is a real big form, so. Uh, hopefully everything goes right on the first pull, um, and uh, we'll see. It'll be a few minutes. We'll know. Oh, mm. it's just about sagging already. Now to determine how much sag we're going to need. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me turn on that. first one now uh, we couldn't push this down as you can see and with the this plastic didn't get uh, hot enough but this first one's the one we're going to sand anyway so if it isn't totally perfect it won't make any difference but I'm going to figure out how much pull it's going to take here didn't get sucked to the side which is irrelevant but it looks to me like we got a good solid pull all the way around okay pulled out some of my uh, staples almost broke my frame here I'm gonna have to beef that up a little bit um, but I think I can use this one um, it's got a good seal oh, no it doesn't I got a problem over here I'm okay here, but I didn't get it all the way over here. It isn't down all the way here. So we're going to have to uh, put a little reinforcement on this frame and then uh, see if we can get this heated up to a better temperature next time. Looks like I'm going to need a sag about this big uh, to get this on here and get it to pull down all the way. Okay, that's live and learn. Ta-da for now. Okay, here we go again. Waiting for the big sag. Okay. We had too much material floating around there and it's all yucked up there. So. Oh, here we go again. Down. 
Welcome back to the shop. Well, in this case, the kitchen. <coughs> so I've made a few changes since uh, our last attempts. I built a new frame, and you can see it's a uh, much beefier, heavier wood uh, with um, angle iron reinforcements all around it. So, so that should uh, eliminate a lot of the problems we had with the bowing and the inability to get a good seal. Plus, I've also built a little larger box, so I've got more uh, room to work with, vacuum former box. And the key thing I've done is, you can see, I have elevated one end of the plug. Uh, this way, I think I'll have a clear shot at getting the plastic on the, on the top of the plug and pulled down around the sides. If it goes and pulls underneath, that doesn't make any difference, but if I can get it pulled smoothly over this top now that it's uh, all at, at this angle and then get down and get a seal, I think we should be able to get a good pull. Okay, here we are all set up. I'm ready for to try the first pull with this new setup. Just waiting for it to heat up and get a good sag. Okay, here we go. That's all right. I didn't get it quite hot enough, but uh, to stretch it. But I think we managed to stretch it over the canopy part of the plug. So this actually may be a piece we can use. Okay. I keep them let, let up on it a little bit. Yeah. Let that cool off. But it looks to me like over the part that important. Yeah. This is kind of like a. One of those uh, dip to pull things where you push it through. So uh, we'll work on that. Let you know how it goes. Yeah, actually, uh, setting it up at this angle allowed us to pull the plastic down completely over the plug face. So even though I didn't get enough sag, I'm going to pull another one uh, with a little hotter and just to uh, see if it works out better. But I may not, uh, may not have to. If, if I'll cut this, if this uh, works good, then I could use this as my uh, pull, la pull layer and uh, sand this down and then uh, the next time uh, we'll try uh, getting it just a little bit hotter. Okay, here we sit, waiting for the sag. Oop, sag is here. you heard was the implosion <laughs> as it sucked it in under here and blew a hole in here but that doesn't make any difference because we got a good pull over the plug okay we're good to go